Well, when I first got out of law school many years ago, I came to work uh, as an attorney and, and I was uh, got on a panel of appointed counsel to work in the juvenile court. Uh, Bill Honeyman was the juvenile judge at that point in time. Bill gave me the opportunity to work in the juvenile court and I had for some reason just kind of a sense or a calling or whatever to work in that venue. Uh, and it wasn't a full-time job, it was a part-time job as a panel attorney and the first two years of my duty I represented parents and children. Uh, the last two years I was purely a guardian ad litem representing the interests of children. Um, that Those four years that I spent in that venue, uh, something about it made me feel this is what I want or need to do. And when the opportunity presented itself based upon the untimely demise of Bill Honeyman and the position became open, uh, I still remember confer conferring with and a meeting with the Governor Carlin who was who appointed me. And Governor Carlin asked me pointedly, he said, uh, if I appoint you uh, this position as a, the uh, position of a, a juvenile court judge, how long are you going to do that? I said, Governor, uh, you may not understand my position or my feelings about this circumstance, but what I will tell you is, and I will commit to you, if you appoint me as a judge in the juvenile court, that will be my career. That's where I want to work. And unless or until someone determines that I am incapable of doing it or that the job I'm doing is not appropriate, that's where I'll be. And I'm still here. Uh, and I don't say that to sound arrogant. I say that because it tru I truly believe it was my calling, and I truly believe I have been a assistance to families and children in this community over the last 25 years. Now, no one's infallible. Certainly you can't please everyone in the public. But I would like to think that the general perception of the service provided to this community over the last 25 years in the juvenile court has been successful.